Hello everyone, welcome to Institute Biomedical Chemistry Genius. Today in this video we are going to talk about Hoffman's rearrangement reaction or Hoffman's degradation uh, reaction or also Hoffman's bromomide rearrangement reactions. So in this uh, reaction uh, it comes in a mean chapter of secondary school or you can say even degree in graduation also it comes. So the conversion of your carboxyamide that means R C double bond O N H two group to primary amine. Okay, so you will convert carboxyamide okay that is rc double bond o nh2 to primary amine with the help of an alkali and um, a halogen so base is alkali is a base so naoh and halogen okay and then you will find a carbon atom with a less number of uh, carbon atom which was present in the reagent so you are going to get a product which has one atom less than the reagent and this is known as your hoffman's degradation reaction okay so if you take rc double bond o NH2 and if you react with your sodium hydroxide and bromine okay if you react with sodium hydroxide and bromine Br2 you have to take so it will form RNH2 twice and ABR and Na2CO3 and H2 two molecules of hydrogen gas will be released okay and there will be formation of sodium bicarbonate and sodium bromide okay where R is an alkyl it can be cycloalkane and anything so we'll go for the mechanism so the step one is that the amide undergoes base Base protonated reaction to give an N bromide intermediate. You will get an N bromide intermediate and there's a base protonation. That means a base is going to take up the proton. So see here we have sodium hydroxide, so we have OH minus in the reaction medium. It is going to take up your hydrogen that is proton from the reagent, and since you are going to get this intermediate, see, and there is a lone pair on nitrogen. This lone pair, excess lone pair, what it will do? It will try to take the bromine. Okay, and there is a bond breakage in a heterocyclic form. That means Br minus will go out and Br plus is going to go and add to the nitrogen and that is your N bromomide intermediate formed in this step 2 is that so if you take two molecules of sodium hydroxide and bromine then you are going to get NaOBr NaBr and H2O it uh, gets divided into these three and you have to remember this reaction again there is a base which will take up a proton from the reaction media and you will give you this intermediate and now this R will go and shift to the nitrogen which has more number of electron okay because R is now electron division and you get this intermediate formed now step 4 we will go to this step 4 now this step what it says that it can be divided into two types okay the first is that now what will happen the bromine will leave the reaction okay uh, so the bromine is going to leave the reaction and in place of that bromine the, the, and the R will come that means R is going to come and attach to the nitrogen okay that's why uh, it forms R NH2 as your product so it is possible in two steps first there's the, the loss of you can say bromine ion and then the alkyl group will come and go and get uh, into the reaction but so the second thing is that it is concerted step that means the experimental analysis when it is done it is seen that this is a concerted step that means it takes place inside the reaction mechanism in one uh, step only so this experimental analysis will give you this proof so what will happen next is that we will take our C double bond O okay and there will be the formation of isocyanide group also by this concerted step only okay let's see what is the concerted step concerted step also means that the uh, you can say uh, you know there is a rearrangement taking place within the molecule so you have rc double bond o uh, n minus okay there is a excess of uh, uh, electron now uh, sorry excess of electron yes in nitrogen and the bromine will leave the reaction uh, medium okay so in this way the r will go and shift to the nitrogen and there is a uh, electron shift and your formation of r n double bond c double bond o that is isocyanate the isocyanate undergoes rapid hydration to yield an unstable carbamic acid which then uh, gives you amine okay so see here it is a very much uh, isocyanate it is going to go it has water it will take the water and it will form carbonic acid which is very much unstable see uh, it is this water molecule is getting attached to c carbon atom now this uh, o minus is going to shift and nitrogen is again having the excess of uh, um, minus sign okay excess of electron and this nitrogen will take up proton from water and there is a formation of r n uh, and c double bond o 
ओ एच ग्रुप ओके सो कार्बन कार्बोमिक एसिड इज फॉर्म विद कार्बोमिक एसिड विच इज वेरी मच अनस्टेबल सो देर इज अ रिमूवल ऑफ सी ओ टू एंड देर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ आर एन एच टू बाई रीअरेंजमेंट एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज रिलीज दिस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड फॉर्म्स योर सोडियम बाई कार्बोनेट ओके दिस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड अगेन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द बेस अगेन इट गोज फॉर्म्स कार्बनिक एसिड ओके सो दिस इज योर रिएक्शन सो इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच मोर वीडियोज ऑन ऑर्गेनिक रिएक्शन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू टीच एनी अदर ऑर्गेनिक रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म डू राइट इन द कमेंट्स वट ऑन विच टॉपिक यू वॉन्ट टू सी द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू